Welcome to your Midwest Potluck Etiquette Guide, where we'll be going over everything from what to bring, do's and don'ts, and try to answer the question, what is a salad? This summer, you might find yourself in a backyard, a garage, or in a picnic shelter, surrounded by piles of Tupperware and Cool Whip, and you'll know you have landed in a Midwestern potluck. Now, the amount of food you need for your potluck can be calculated through something I like to call Midwestern math, which is based on estimations and ratios. For example, Grandpa Jim had nine kids. Those kids discovered birth control, I only had about two or three themselves. Add in a couple of spouses and maybe one or two significant or not so significant others, you're looking at maybe about 50 people for your average family potluck. Next is your ratio, which is about six brats to every one person, plus or minus a hot dog or a hamburger. Then you're going to need about 20 pounds of potato salad, one full shopping cart of chips. Everyone's going to bring a dish to pass and that should get you at about enough food to feed 100 people, but that might not quite be enough still, so pick up two extra sheet cakes just in case. Now the Midwestern potluck really is a multi-coursed meal. I guess it's actually more of a bunch of different like random dishes that don't necessarily always go together but are just thrown on a table but it all starts with a veggie tray I know what you're thinking but don't knock the veggie tray this is probably the only source of nutritional value you're gonna get all day you know you grab a couple carrot sticks you're okay to eat 10 bars it's healthy. If you do your veggie tray right, this also doubles as a garnish tray for Bloody Mary. Now, if you want to go a tier above the veggie tray, you got your sides and salads. For your sides, you got to follow the crock pot to salad ratio, which is two salads for every one crock pot. And that's just in the summer months. In the winter, it's the opposite, where you got two crock pots for every one salad. See, those are heartier times, but in the summer, it's all about those light, healthy salads, like jello fluff salad, broccoli bacon cheese salad, marshmallow pudding fluff salad. Now, while there is no official answer on what is a salad, I have compiled a list of acceptable Midwestern salad ingredients. Potato salad, that's a different category. Every family has a designated potato salad maker because the family potato salad maker has to be not only skilled in making potato salad, but also a trustworthy person so they don't do something terrible like give everyone food poisoning or put raisins in it. And while every family has their designated potato salad maker, there will inevitably be one small container of deli potato salad that will be placed ceremoniously next to the potato salad and remain untouched all day. Now for your potluck do's and don'ts. Don't bring your salad in a cool up container. This is a special time of year. You gotta bust out the good Tupperware. You gotta show that stuff off. It's the original Midwestern MLM. Do bring cool up containers for any leftovers. Don't ask for leftovers. You have to have leftovers pressed upon you and then only accept after the third offer. If they don't offer three times, it's not a sincere offer. Don't expect to get out of leftovers you don't want. I really, I don't need any leftovers. No, I'm I'm good. Now that's that's enough salad. That's enough salad. That's, that's good. I, I I don't need this. Do bring a pan of bars. Don't bring a pan of bars with a piece already cut out of it. I know it's hard to wait, but if you're gonna take one, put them all on a plate so no one knows. Don't try to assemble your dish at the host's house. There's a special circle in hell for people that show up the bag of groceries and ask for a knife and a cutting board. Do. Bring something, anything, it's, it's a potluck. Even if they didn't ask you to bring anything, it's just a test. They're just testing to see how Midwestern nice you are. Cause if you're really Midwestern, you can't show up at anyone's door without bringing food with you. Otherwise you're gonna be overwrought with guilt. And remember, if you didn't finish something, always turn your plate upside down. So you don't offend anyone. Yeah, I'll take another.